Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general uh, weekly reading. Any information you guys need can be found within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now for $25.25. Um, so those are just the regular readings where you can ask questions about pretty much anything. But I also have a holiday special going on right now for the month of February where you can ask love-related questions for $15.15. .15. Um, so all that information you guys can find in the description box down below at the very bottom. Um, I also did a video on this a few days ago, and there's a post about it in my community tab, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get started here for you, Sagittarius. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Okay, and we are going to go over the past, present, future, and overall energies here, okay? All right, can you guys see those? Yes, okay. <clears throat> All right, so your overall here is going to be the King of Swords, um, Aquarian Energy, okay? Uh, so I definitely feel like there's some kind of news being delivered for some of you guys. Um, I feel like there's some kind of serious news coming in. So I'll, feel, I'll figure out what that's about here. What's going on with this King of Swords, please? What's going on with this King of Swords? The devil capricorn energy so this could be about the a capricorn a capricorn <laughs> this could be about a capricorn or it could just be about something here that you've been feeling really tied to or something that's really been draining you okay here in your uh, past energy you have full aquarius you have the five of swords venus and aquarius and you have the seven of wands mars and leo okay so there is some kind of conflict that fizzles out here let's go ahead and start clarifying this what's going on with the full with the fool what was that the hangman pisces energy so you're feeling stuck here in the recent past when it comes to some kind of new beginning you're trying to have what's going on with the five of swords for sagittarius please king of cups could be with the scorpio doesn't have to be how about the seven of wands Ooh, page of swords Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I definitely think there's something here that you guys aren't saying, okay, in the recent past. There's something that you're feeling you're not saying it, okay? So I feel like because of that, tension is building, okay? Uh, so that's what I feel like this King of Swords devil card energy could be about here, okay? I think you could be having some kind of uh, relationship obstacle because you're not saying anything about a stagnant energy that you're feeling, all right? Or you're carrying the weight in a connection. It could be any of those three things, but Overall, I do feel like you're feeling um, some kind of restrictions or delays when it comes to some kind of new beginning that you're trying to have, okay? All right. So with this Five of Swords energy, I do feel like some kind of tension is building because you have the King of Cups clarifying that. So King of Cups, like I said, is Scorpio, so that is Pluto. Uh, so to me, that can be something that's kind of been buried. All right, so Seven of Wands would kind of clarify that feeling for me as well because she's kind of pushing something down there, right? So I feel like there's some kind of feeling that you're having here of stagnancy. You're feeling a little bit trapped for some of you guys, but um, there's some kind of new beginning you want to have here or some kind of new energy that you want to be brought into um, a situation here with this full card, okay? So I feel like there's some kind of silence here that's breeding toxicity uh, within a situation because you need to be honest about something, okay? That's what this King of Swords energy is telling me anyway. Here in your current energy, you have the Two of Wands, Mars and Aries. You have the Eight of Cups, uh, Saturn and Pisces. And you have the Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer, okay? So what's going on here with this? What's going on with this Two of Wands, please? What's going on with this Two of Wands for Sagittarius, Justice, Libra? Eight of Cups. Some of you guys could be moving towards a Libra because of this, or this could have something to do with a Libra. What's going on with the Eight of Cups? Page of Wands. And how about this Four of Cups? Ten of Cups. Interesting. Okay. So there's definitely something missing here within a situation. That's why you feel that something is stagnant, okay? Maybe something hasn't been uh, fully solidified here within a connection. Maybe you're wanting to move up to a new level, all right? Maybe you're wanting to move in general. I'm feeling that here with this uh, Two of Wands, but there's something here where you're feeling a little bit stuck, trapped. I'm feeling a little bit of like claustrophobia almost. So there could be something here where some of you guys might need to clear out clutter. 
uh, this week, but that's what I'm feeling. There's something here that is just draining you. Um, you're feeling really trapped, and that's how that seems to me. With this Two of Wands, uh, this is a card of control, all right? So remembering that you do have control in a situation, even if you can't get out of it at this point in time, okay? I feel like there are certain things that um, you could shift within your energy or within your environment or both, truly. Uh, what's going on on the outside reflects what's going on in the inside, okay? So for some of you guys, this could have something to do with your physical environment, okay? So needing to get that under control here. You have the Justice card and things would definitely balance out if that's the case for those of you who that resonates with. The Eight of Cups, though, there is something missing here, okay? Um, so we have the Page of Wands clarifying that. So this could definitely have something to do with another fire sign, or this could be about a passion that you want to move towards, okay? Something is not fulfilling you in the current energy, so there's something new that you want to move towards here because you're not satisfied, okay? Four of Cups, I feel like you are returning to the root of a situation here because I do think that whatever is missing, it's still accessible, okay, if that makes sense. I feel like it's something that maybe... Um, you had in the beginning of this because the four of cups to me can be somebody who is going back to the root of things grounding themselves all right so i feel like whatever you're not satisfied with here um you know you could access it you know you have control with that uh, two of wands showing up here i feel like something has just caused some kind of stagnancy here okay uh with that ten of cups though you could definitely still access this so in your future energy you have the magician which is virgo and gemini you have the Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio, and then you have the Chariot, Cancer. Okay, so we'll figure out what's going on here. So some of you guys, some kind of change definitely needs to happen within the home or within a home situation. That could be what this chariot is about too because this is cancer energy and cancer does rule the fourth house of the home, all right? Uh, traditionally on the uh, chariot card, uh, they're in a car and the car is actually a mobile home. But anyways, because cancer rules the fourth house of the home, also the mother. So let's go ahead and look at this magician. What's going on with the magician, please? What's going on with this magician energy here for Sagittarius? The Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. How about this Five of Cups? So you have three fives showing up here. So that number might be significant uh, to you guys right now. I'm just going to go ahead and take all of these, honestly. It's quite a bit, but we're going to figure out what's going on here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and clarify this chariot while I'm at it. What's going on with this chariot, please? The Empress. Okay, so like I said, this could have something to do with a mother. I feel like this literally shows up in your all's reading every single time or a pregnancy or something of that nature because you do have the Seven of Pentacles here, some kind of growth and development, all right? Anyways, we're going to go back to this. Uh, so the Five of Cups, all right? I feel like you guys are returning to the root of a situation, like I said, because you have the Four of Cups showing up to clarify this once again. So I do feel like you are moving backwards because this is clarifying the Five of Cups, but it's okay, all right? You need to move backwards here in this situation. I do think that it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable. I mean, you have the Four of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords upright is Jupiter and Libra. That is a card of, you know, gratitude for your good fortune, right? It's a card of peace, okay? Somebody resting. So I feel like there is some kind of work that you're going to have to put in here on some kind of healing, okay? This could be healing a connection. This could be healing your home i feel like there's some kind of physical work that you guys are going to have to put in here whether this is this could literally even just be something you know in regards to having a conversation that you don't want to have sometimes that could be physically draining for people okay uh, especially empaths and introverts so you have the knight of uh, swords here and the knight of cups all right so i feel like this is warning against um kind of flying off the handle of somebody here gemini energy um, and taking a softer approach to a conversation that you're trying to have about some kind of conflict because I do feel a little bit of tension, a little bit of fear with this um, uh, Knight of Swords, all right? But you cannot lock this feeling in forever. You have to address it. So I feel like there's a need to return to the root of something here. This Magician energy uh, being clarified by that Five of Pentacles is telling me that if this is a connection, the both of you are just as wounded with what's going on here, okay? But there's not a lot of communication that's taking place. I feel like you need to use... The tools that you have here in order to fix this okay um what else do we have out here you have the three of um cups the eight of wands the page of cups and the five of wands okay yeah, so again, with this Page of Cups energy, that is somebody who is very flexible. Um, I feel like some of you guys could get some kind of truth here uh, that doesn't really sit right with you, okay? But I do feel like it's beneficial to healing whatever this is. Uh, so we have Saturn and Leo with that Five of Wands. Water with the Page of Cups. This could come from a water sign, all right? Um, 
But yeah, I definitely feel like there's an energy here where you guys aren't going to be comfortable with some kind of conversation, but it has to be had in order for you to get on the same page with someone here, okay? Or in order for you to be comfortable within your environment, in order for things to grow, uh, because the Three of Cups can represent a harvest. So something's not being talked about here. I feel like it needs to be talked about, okay? Uh, no sidestepping around it either, because the Eight of Wands can be a card of like precision, so you need to actually be direct and straightforward without being in a Knight of Swords, like attacking kind of energy here, all right? And I feel like they'll meet you in the middle here, I really do, but I think that it's all in the way you approach it. It's all in the way you communicate here about this. And I feel like there will be a victory here. There will be growth, okay? Progress. When you have the Empress here, that represents a very um, feminine, like nurturing energy. So I feel like that's the, pro the approach you need to take to this, okay? Um, rather than a Knight of a, knight of Swords kind of approach, okay? But it definitely has to be talked about, whatever this is. So that's what I'm seeing here for you, Sagittarius. I do hope that it was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. And you all enjoy your week. Bye.